What is up guys, welcome back to another video here on Overdrive. If you guys don't know me already, my name is Shane, here's my IG. We are here again with the Lancer, about to do something new. We're here at Isaac's house, he's knees deep into his car right now. Y'all will see what's going to happen with that next. But, let's show you guys what we're going to get into. Alright guys, so it's finally time that we start tinting the taillights. I already have everything all laid out here with the micro microfiber cloth. We have the dark smoke tint. And then we have the tent toolkit right here. It comes with everything. I have the links all in the description if you guys need them. We are going to go ahead and start. I already went and sprayed it down. So let's heat it up and let's get it. All right, guys. So we got the vinyl here. I'm literally just going to place it on top of the car and work our way through with the squeegees and the toolkits. We are going to start by first spraying it down with water so that it doesn't bond to the car as quickly. So let's get into it. Let me grab another thing in Windex inside, because otherwise they're going to come out fucked. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, baby. Alright guys, so that is the first part of the first taillight. Um it came out pretty good. There's only a little bump here that I'll show you guys later. Couldn't get that out. Uh we yeah guys, so we didn't put the water on because None of the guns were working, or the spray bottles weren't working, so we just didn't use any of them. Uh, it it didn't stick on that fast, so we had a bunch of time to take it off and redo it, but the water would really help more. So we're probably going to try and use that next time, so let's continue on the other side. Actually guys, before we get started on the other side, I do want to see what it looks like if we turn on the lights. So let's check that out first.
what is up guys so it is the next day now and we're going to continue with tinting the lancer's taillights so let me show you guys what we did the other day all right guys so this is how the taillights came out i think that it looks super sick blacked out compared to the originals over there so let me show you guys so this one right here came out perfect i really like this one i really enjoy this one i think it looks sick this is the second piece we started on and the second piece we started on had a lot of flaws to it you guys can see from right there all the wrinkles and stuff and like it's not even like properly cut down here it's not even properly cut wrinkles all over the tail light on that side so don't worry guys we are going to redo that one i just put it on quickly because it was getting too cold and too dark so i was like okay might as well just finish it up and then redo it later so i am going to redo that one and i'm also going to finish this side today hopefully and maybe even get the backs down there and the reverse light so let's start it all right guys so i figured we start on this side this time so that we can start with the hard side first and then work our way to the second tail light but instead of fixing that one first we can leave that one on so at least if i get these two done today it will look decent so and then we can go back and fix the other one so let's get started i'm gonna clean down i'm gonna clean the tail lights off and then get my soapy water this time and then run up the heat gun and get the wrap and then start placing on y'all all see that process so let's get started what is up guys all right we're back it is the next day actually it is a couple days later we did i did finish up i did finish up the rear tail lights here i just went along the camera did cut out so i'm sorry for that i don't know if you guys saw if it cut out earlier but i ended up splitting it down the middle like that and then it has some bubbles here but we don't watch that what's going on guys <laughs> we're finishing uh these lights uh, the last time we did the vinyl on uh, the tail lights, uh, Shane messed it up because um, there's bubbles. There's bubbles, but it's okay. Can't really see it unless you're like real close up to there. Uh, this one, this one got the worst of it. She's a little, little yeah, rigid, but it's one. okay. It's okay. We don't look at it. Today we're gonna be doing these lights. These ones. Uh, we got the the vinyl here. The vinyl. Uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so I just went along and finished it. I did split it down the middle to make it easier. I don't know if you guys saw that. And then this side turned out way better than this side. Obviously, the wrinkles and everything. I said I was going to redo that, but I'm probably going to leave it because I'm hella lazy and I'm going to upgrade to other tail lights later on in the future. But the side came out pretty good. I did end up going to do the reverse light. I did that off camera. But as you said, today we are doing the bottom brake lights. I'm pretty sure is what they are. So let's get started.
Alright guys, so we just finished up the passenger side, rear brake light, we are now, or bottom brake light, whatever you guys want to call it, we are now going to move on to the left side. Alright guys, so the left rear bottom brake light is finally done, looking pretty good, obviously up close there's a little bubbles here and there, but like, I ain't a pro, but, but if you look at the whole back, it's looking Sick. All blacked out. Alright guys, so now we're going to try and do the sequential light right here. And that's going to be the last light. Alright guys, so this is how it came out. It's a little wonky and all, but that doesn't really matter as it is just a side blinker. But I did the other side the other time. I don't remember if I filmed it. The side is doo-doo, but I'm keeping it anyways because I'm going to end up replacing these guys anyways. So it's just a temporary fix. There are a couple other things we got to fix on the vehicle, but man, the trunk is my favorite. Alright guys, so we are finally done with the Lancer's tail lights and most of the lights around the vehicle, all we didn't do is the headlights, but we are going to come back and do the fog lights though, I know that, I want to get those fog lights blacking out because there are those like neon colored lights I showed you before, I'll show you again in a bit, but um, I do want to get rid of those. Alright guys, so I hope the camera is focused right now, I can't really see, um, I can't show you too much around the car because I've done stuff while making this video at the same time, I have a bunch of videos in the making right now, but the lights came out pretty good, I, I enjoy them, they look sick, they look all sick, smoked out, um, I was trying to get a little clip of what they look like at night, but I don't think, I, if I have one, y'all seen it, I put it in, but... <laughs> Yo, that's all right, guys. I'm inside now because I want you guys to hear me. Um, it's getting hella windy out there, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I really like making this video. It was fun to learn how to rap since this was my first time. But yeah, guys, make sure you guys have a friend with you, or unless you want to take this opportunity to do it yourself and do it yourself. But I would suggest you have a friend there for backup to pull the wrap or like the heat it while you're working it because it makes everything a lot easier. Um, I will link everything in the description that I used in this video, and so if you guys want to do it yourself, you can do it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm gonna head out so. You guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, all that. Share with family and friends. We are trying to grow this channel, guys. We were trying to go. But yeah, guys, we would love to go like full time and like put videos out like three times a week for you guys. But you know, if you guys want that to happen, you guys gotta blow up this channel. You know what I'm saying? Just take the time and share it to one of your friends and tell them to watch like two minutes of it. That'll help a lot. Anyways, guys, a lot of stuff coming soon. Um, can't wait for the meets to start this year, and I uh, will see you guys in the next video. Happy Friday. Stay tuned.